Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus 11 other courses like fundamentals, pediatrics, maternity, mental health, and more. Complete with over 300 follow along cheat sheets and a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. All right, guys, let's begin. Is our anticonvulsant phenytoin given for long-term protection against seizures, like with patients with epilepsy and other long-term chronic seizure disorders? Now, the key word here is long-term, so it lasts longer in the body, and patients can get very toxic. So the memory trick is we call phenytoin phenytoxic, since, like most toxic drugs, the max range is 20, and that's the number to know for the NCLEX. So the big key points to write down is 10 to 20 is the therapeutic range. So below 10, we have to report to the HCP since there's a huge seizure risk. And over 20, we hold as well and notify the HCP because of the huge toxicity risk. Now, like any toxic drug, we do routine blood tests. So question banks love to ask, blood level monitored routinely. So that's usually the correct answer. Now we do this to check the therapeutic range of the drug as well as to monitor liver function since any drug that can cause toxicity can also affect the liver heavily. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.